material growth is among the most important processes in the early solar system. Maybe it is the most important process. Our solar system starts off as a large molecular cloud, maybe similar to this Thackeray glob you'll hear with a diameter of about 1.5 light years. Such molecular clouds, of course, contain a lot of gas, but also interstellar material. These are grains in the sub-micrometer range, maybe tens to hundreds of nanometers in size. Now, in the early solar system, shortly after the protoplanetary disk formed, this small material transformed into larger material in a first growth step. And this larger material is now found in meteorites, and this is chondrules and matrix primarily, because these two together make up maybe 95 or more volume percent of a meteorite. And these grains have sizes of micrometer to tens of micrometers, which is the matrix, and hundreds of micrometers to millimeters, which are the chondrules. It is yet unclear how this transformation really um, worked. For the chondrules, we assume that the interstellar material sort of formed aggregates that uh, served as the precursors for the chondrules. So these chondrule aggregates, maybe consisting of interstellar materials, were briefly heated to very high temperatures, where it melted and then solidified the gelt again. This is the chondrule forming process making these solids here. And this is the first growth step that occurred in the protoplanetary disk. Then, in the second growth step, this micrometer to millimeter sized material agglomerated into the asteroids. This again still happened more or less within the protoplanetary disk. So here is a section of a chondrite in which we can see small um, differently colored grains, which are mainly chondrules here, because this is an ordinary chondrite which consists mainly of chondrules. So this is from a planetesimal, and these planetesimals are then a meter to kilometer in size. And this is the second growth step. Again, this um, still happened more or less in the protoplanetary disk. Then in the last and third growth step, which then happened more or less in the debris disk, so the gas of the protoplanetary disk is more or less uh, gone, evaporated. And in this last and third growth step, the asteroids then collide and agglomerate into thousands of kilometer-sized planets. And this means if you come from nanometer-sized up to thousands of kilometer-sized, this is a growth across 10 to 15 orders of magnitude. And this is why growth is so important in the early solar system, because without it we wouldn't have these kind of planets. And this is something we um, need to understand, and there are many, many holes in understanding this kind of growth here. But it is quite important, and there are three distinct growth steps from sub-micrometer to micrometer millimeter, from micrometer millimeter to meter kilometers, and from this finally to thousands of kilometers. This is something that is quite um, critical here also to remember. And this is about the growth in our early solar system.